Hey there, this is Tyler from WTFX. Today we're focusing on a couple blurs and the subtle differences between them. Let's dive in. Directional Radial, CC Radial, and CC Radial Fast Blur. Now you might be asking yourself, WTFX is a difference? See what I did there? But seriously, is this even worth knowing? The answer, of course it is. Essentially, these blurs help to enhance the motion of your footage or give the illusion of motion. As I said, all these blurs give the impression of movement. This is done by pushing bits of the image in a specific direction. The best effect to demonstrate this would be the directional blur. In the effects panel, you get two options, direction and blur length. Blur length decides just how long the blur should be, and the direction lets you choose which angle the motion should appear to go. The radial blur focuses on a specific point of your choosing with the effect growing out from there. In the effects panel, you can choose the type of effect you want, spin, which gives the appearance of the camera being rotated, or zoom, which gives the appearance of zooming in or out. Now center, which is a focal point, can be adjusted by either manually changing the X and Y axis, or simply click where you want the center point to be. The amount exaggerates the appearance of motion by making it more intense, you know, like camping. Get it? Intense. The remaining option in the effects panel is anti-aliasing. This is something that confuses a lot of people and doesn't seem to do anything, but it actually serves a great purpose. Being that these blurs work by taking individual pixels, which are square, and stretching them out, sometimes it can make the graphic look a little jagged or even pixelated. Zooming into the image, we'll be able to get a better idea as to what we're talking about. Simply change the anti-aliasing from low, its default setting, to high, for a slightly more smoothed out appearance. CC Radial is like Radial Blur 2.0. It gives you a little more control for some better quality. In the effects panel, you can see that you have the option to change the center point. The amount, again, changes just how drastic the blur is going to be. Quality is basically anti-aliasing, but type is where we can have a lot of fun. Straight Zoom is your basic zoom blur. Fading zoom is like straight zoom light, all the fun but only half the calories. The zoom effect is faded off near the center point creating less distortion, therefore making the area around the center more in focus than the rest of the frame. Centered zoom is the love child between the box blur and the zoom effect. As you increase the amount you can see it zooms out but it also creates a bit of a box effect. Scratch is the basic rotation effect. Rotate creates a sense of rotation, but also slowly spins the image. And Rotate Fading is the rotate version of the fading zoom. It will increase the blur amount over the space of the blur. CC Radial Fast Blur is a simpler version of the basic radial blur. So you may be asking yourself, then why should we even use it? Because it does allow you to do something the others don't. You can blur the lights and darks of an image. When you select the standard zoom, it is just that, as you can see when we adjust the amount. When you choose the brightest zoom, it selects those brightest values of the image and blurs those. When you select the darkest zoom, it blurs out the dark values. So whether you like the simplicity of the directional blur or the subtle controls of the CC radial blur, I think there's one thing we all can agree on. Adobe needs to step up their f***ing game with these names. I mean, really? Radial? CC Radial? CC Radial Fast Blur? Come on, Adobe! You're better than this! Thanks for watching.